What's up everybody, it's your boy Tanner of FitFast and I've got for you 10 of the best ab exercises that require no equipment at all. Get ready. Okay, we're gonna get things started off here with one of the easier ones and that is your toe touches. So with your feet completely straight up in the air and they're connected right directly to each other and your hips are planted, what you're gonna do is you're gonna thrust up and touch the toes. Now, you can either reach for the inside of your feet for an easy version of it, or if you want the full difficulty, then you're gonna reach for the outside right there. And you wanna just lower yourself down after each rep. So next, we've got our heel touchers. So with your feet planted directly in front of your knees, you're gonna engage your core by lifting your shoulder blades up off the ground, put your hands to the side, and you're going to be touching the outside of each heel and this is going to activate a lot of your oblique muscles. Next we have the reverse crunch and what you're going to do is you're going to have your feet planted completely flat, having your knees and your legs and your feet together and you're going to do exactly what you do with the crunch but as opposed to doing it with your upper body, you're going to do it with your lower and you're going to focus on slowly bringing those feet down until they're flat, doing it all controlled. The next exercise that we have is a combination of the uh, reverse crunch as well as a full crunch. So you're going to add the combination of the reverse crunch with the regular crunch which is just lifting the shoulders up off the ground. So you're going to combine those and that's what this is going to look like right here. Remembering to bring down your feet and your shoulders as slow and controlled as possible and this is going to activate the upper and lower abdominals. So for the next exercise, we've got the jackknife. So with your arms and your legs as straight as possible, you're going to bring your feet up first and then reach with your hands at the top there. And you're going to be keeping the arms and legs straight as possible, reaching for those toes so that you can get that nice abdominal activation. Next, we've got a good one for our lower abdominals. So you're going to position yourself as such, your hands just a bit before where your butt is planted and you're gonna have your back on about a 45 degree angle. You're gonna lift your feet up off the ground and you're gonna start fluttering with each foot anywhere between six and 12 inches. You want that slow and under control. Okay, next we've got the Russian twist. So the same that we had with the flutter kicks, we're gonna have our back up on a 45 degree angle and this time, as opposed to having your hands planted, you're gonna have your feet and you're just giving that rotation there of the trunk. And if you want to make this a bit more difficult, what you can do is you can lift your feet up and get that rotation still. Okay, next what we have is the side-to-side -side heel taps. So again, with the back on a 45 degree angle, you're going to plant your hands just ever so slightly in front of your butt. You're going to lift your feet and they're going to stay together and you're just moving them from left to right and you're going to strive to get a distance between each plant of about 12 inches. Okay, next we've got our six inch hold. So again, back on the 45, hands planted ever so slightly in front of the butt. You're gonna lift the feet and the legs, they're gonna be completely together, and you're gonna lift it six inches from the ground and hold. And you can do this hold for 15, 30, 45, or even 60 seconds. Okay, and for our last exercise, we've got the scissor crunch, and it's essentially a flutter kick, but with a lot larger range of motion. And you're gonna notice here, that the entire upper body is planted, my shoulders are rested, my head is planted on the ground, and my heels are planted as well, as the leg makes those full, large ranges of motion, nice and slow and under control.